So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve the range, variance, and standard deviation of a group data in Tagalog. So halimbawa may given group data tayo, ganito. So ito ay group data kasi naka-interval yung data from 10 to 12, 13 to 15, and so on. So yan ay group data. Tapos, we will find the range ng group data na to. So yung formula, range equals UCB or upper class boundary. So may subscript na H. Ibig sabihin, yan ay highest upper class boundary. Minus the LCB or lower class boundary. Tapos may subscript na L. Yun yung lo uh, least lower class boundary. So yun yung pinakamaliit na lower class boundary. So, ibig sabihin, gagawa tayo ng column na class boundary. So, ano nga ba yung laman ng class boundary? So, same yan ng interval. So, yung, kada interval may lower limit at saka upper limit. Yung lower limit yun yung 10, 13, 16, 19, 22. So, yun yung mga numbers sa left side ng interval. Yung upper limit yun yung nasa right side. Yung 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So, sa class boundary, yung lower limits, subtract mo lang ng 0.5. At saka, yung upper limits, add mo lang ng 0.5 para makuha yung class boundary. So, dito sa first row, yung 10 to 12 magiging 9.5 at saka 12.5. So, bakit naging ganun? Kasi yung 10, nag-subtract tayo ng 0.5. Sa 12, nag-add tayo ng 0.5. So, subtract 0.5 at saka add 0.5. So, sa second row naman, naging 12.5 at saka 15.5. So, yung 13 minus 0.5, 12.5. At saka yung 15 plus 0.5, so naging 15.5. So, klaro natin, yung lower limit subtract ng 0.5, yung upper limit add ng 0.5. Tapos, yung third row magiging 15.5 to 18.5. Next, magiging 18.5 to 21.5. At saka, 21.5 to 24.5. So, sub substitute na natin sa ating uh, formula, yung upper class boundary na highest is yung 24.5. At saka, yung least na lower class boundary is yung 9.5 So, yung range natin is 15 So, ngayon naman isosolve natin yung variance at saka standard deviation ng group data na to So, yung formula for variance ay S squared equals So, yung S squared yun yung symbol ng variance Yan ay sample variance So, yung formula sum of F so yung sigma symbol katabi ng F ay yan ay sum or total so sum of F times X minus mean squared tapos divide lahat ng N minus 1 so medyo uh, komplikado tignan pero madali lang siya pag nakita nyo yung proseso kung paano siya isosolve so una nating gagawin ay isosolve natin yung mean. So, yung mean may formula na sum of fx divided by n. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin ng column na x tsaka fx. Kasi yung f ay yung frequency. So, yung x ay class mark. So, ibig sabihin, yun yung kitna ng kada interval. So, ano yung gitna ng 10 at saka 12 ay 11. Gitna ng 13 at 15 ay 14. Tapos, 17, 20, at 23. So, yun yung class mark. Yun yung gitna ng kada interval. Tapos, Fx. So, yung column na Fx. So, ano yung Fx? Yun yung product ng F at saka X. So, ibig sabihin, multiply natin f times x. So, 5 times 11, 55. 8 times 14, 
112 5 times 17 85 10 times 20 200 2 times 23 46 Tapos isa sum natin yung fx So i-add natin yan lahat para makuha yung sum of fx So yung sum is 498 At saka kukunin natin yung sum of frequency So yun, yung sum of frequency ay yun yung n so, i-add natin yan. Yung suma total is 30. Now, pwede na masolve yung mean. So, yung mean, substitute natin yung sum of fx, 498, at saka yung n is 30. Tapos, i-divide. So, yung quotient is 16.60. Or, pwede na rin 16.6. So, pagkatapos ng mean, continue tayo na mag ng column. Yung column na x minus mean. So, ibig sabihin, yung class mark minus yung mean sa baba na 16.6. So, 11 minus 16.6 is negative 5.6. Tapos, 14 minus 6.6 is negative 2.6. 17 minus 16.6, 0 0.4. 20 minus 16.6, 3.4 23 minus 16.6 6.4 So, yun yung X minus mean Tapos, add naman tayo ng another column Yung square naman ng X minus mean So, lahat ng uh, data sa X minus mean na column Square mo yan So, anong ibig sabihin ng square? Multiply mo lang sa kanyang sarili so, yung negative 5.6, square natin yan. So, negative 5.6 times negative 5.6. So, magiging 31.36. So, kahit negative siya, kapag multiply mo sa sarili niya, still magiging positive. Kasi negative times negative is positive. So, square of negative 2.6 is 6.76. Square of 0.4 is 0 0.16 square ng 3.4 11.56 square ng 6.4 40.96 tapos yung panghuling column is yung f times square of x minus mean so yung f yun yung frequency tapos multiply natin sa values ng square of x minus mean so, limbawa, sa first row, yung f is 5, tapos yung square of x minus mean ay 31.36. So, multiply natin yan, yung product is 156.8. Tapos, yung second row, 8 times 6.76, 54.08. Then, 5 times 0 0.16, 0 0.8. 10 times 11.56, 115.6, tapos 2 times 40.96, so 81.92. So, yan yung panghuling column. Tapos, i-add natin yung data sa huling column para makuha yung sum of f times square of x minus mean, which is yung, yun yung huling column. So, Add mo yan lahat. Yung sum is 409.2. So, babalik tayo sa ating formula. Substitute natin. So, yung sum of f times x minus mean squared is 409.2 over n minus 1. Ano yung n? Yan yung sum ng frequency, which is 30. So, 30 minus 1 is 29. Tapos, divide natin. So, 409.2 divided by 29. So, 14.11. So, approximately kasi na ground off tayo sa two decimal places. So, yan yung variance. So, para naman makuha yung standard deviation, kukunin natin na yung square root ng 14.11. So, approximately, standard deviation is 3.76.
So, salamat sa panonood at sana may natutunan kayo sa video ito. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.